Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Today we're checking out how to synchronize your light show with backing tracks or with your performance at a gig. Synchronizing your light show along with your performance goes a long way toward enhancing what's happening at the gig, and it's very simple to do using simple hardware and a plug-in that runs inside your DAW. The rig I'm using today is a MacBook Pro, but what's really important here is this DMXS interface box from NTech. The DMXS converts USB from the computer into DMX control messages that then control our lighting bar. I've got a Chauve 4-bar tri behind me, and we're demonstrating how we can turn the lights on and off automatically using messages sent from our DAW. Setting this all up is very simple. Just connect the DMXS by USB to your computer, run a 3-pin XLR cable back to your lighting controller, chain additional ones together if you have a bigger light show, and you're basically ready to go. Now, DMXS comes with a plug-in that you can load into your DAW, and this allows you to turn the lights on and off, set up different levels for the lights, mix colors, set up all kinds of automation things. There's a lot you can do there, so let's check that out briefly. The DMXS plug-in instantiates as an instrument running inside your DAW. I'm running Presona Studio One here, but any DAW, Pro Tools, Ableton Live, Cubase, Logic, any DAW that can load a virtual instrument can load up this plug-in and be used to control your lights. So if we open this up, we see basically a lighting control panel. Now we can turn our lights on and off by moving the faders. We have controls for automating those lights. We can use a uh, XY pad here to scroll among different settings. So there's a lot of different options. But what I want to talk about is just basic operation where we're changing from one set of lights to another, and then you can dig deeper on your own. The way we do this is set up presets for our different light combinations. We have a preset manager here inside the DMXS plugin. When we hit reset all, that preset is set to turn off all the lights. Red 1 is programmed to turn on red on the first fixture, green 1, red 2, red 4, and so on. Now we can also combine lights together, and we can create different colors by blending different fixtures. But the really cool thing is, we can activate these presets using MIDI notes within our DAW. It's very simple to do this. I'll close the plugin. What I've done is created a MIDI track here. So we can open this up, look at our editor. And you can see at the bottom here, these are MIDI notes that I've inserted, and each one of those turns a preset on and off. And as we play our DAW back, those notes will play, they'll activate the presets, and it'll all be synchronized along with our music. Let me show you how it works. So I'm going to close the editor, get our mixer back up. I'll rewind. When I hit play, the music will begin playing, and the presets will be called up using our DAW track, activating the lights. Here we go. and so on. So this is a very simple process. Just add a MIDI note to turn a preset on and off, and set your presets up with the different combinations you want to use for lighting up your stage. Now, as I mentioned, we have a lot more control here inside the DMXS plugin. We can activate different uh, blends of things. We have an overall fader for turning our light levels up and down, and we can cross-fade between different presets so they aren't just hard changing. So we have a lot of options here, but at its most basic, controlling your light show using MIDI from your DAW is a very simple process. If you're using backing tracks with your live show, or you're using MIDI to control presets in your keyboards, your pedal boards, whatever devices you might have that are MIDI capable, you can synchronize your lights very easy using just the DMXS interface and a simple plugin that runs inside your DAW. It's a lot of fun, and it really adds a lot of life to your live performances. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mitch Gallagher.